Hello Sycamore, happy March. Today is Wednesday, March 1st, 2023, and welcome to this Art Spirit Week episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Kira. And hello, I'm Prisana. We're so excited to have this great opportunity to join you all on the daily video announcements. Now let's please stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Remember, check your emails throughout the day and BPBIS, responsible young adults. Be safe, be respectful and be positive problem solvers. Mark your calendars. We've seen your color wheel knowledge attire today and let's continue the awesome art spirit sycamore. That's right. Tomorrow is Take It Back Thursday, March 2nd. Take your outfit back to the beginning where it all starts with primary colors. Let's see you in red, blue and yellow. Two more days to order our 2023 SJHS yearbook. Time is running out. Reserve your 2023 yearbook today. The cost is $35 per copy. Again, this week, March 3rd, through the 5th in Sycamore's Fine Arts Weekend, we decided to share more information with us regarding the awesome art opening day. This Friday from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. is opening day for the District Art Show. It will be featured live demos in the dark room, wheel throwing, and a hands-on watercolor activity. There will also be tours of the high school department and plenty of fun. Oh, that does sound really fun and awesome. Next week, we have another Fun Spirit Week put on by Student Council. That's March 6th through the 10th. And to start planning, Monday is Wear Your Pajamas Day. Oh, that's a favorite. And Tuesday is Twins Day. Start planning with your friends to dress as twins. Okay, keep those grades up, people. Remember, third quarter ends before spring break. All right, March is Women's History Month. We'll be recognizing women for who have made significant contribution in history. Although this is plenty and we have many, today we're recognizing Anne Frank. For the beginning of Women's History Month, today we'll be featuring Anne Frank. Anne Frank was a young girl who lived throughout the Holocaust. She's mostly known for her life-changing diary. Throughout the beginning of the Holocaust, Anne and her family were hiding from the Nazis. While in hiding, Anne decided to start her own diary. Although Anne and her family were soon found and captured by the Nazis, her diary was found and published for the entire world to see. In the present day, the Diary of Anne Frank is the third most published book in the world. It has changed and inspired the lives of millions of people around the world. Although Anne did not survive, the lasting impact she had left will continue to live. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, thanks for your brave message. Next up. Did, Did you, you know? know? Did you know before 1920, some people used to send children in the mail? Whoa, I never thought of it that way. Next up, National, National Day. Day. National Peanut Butter Lovers Day. PB for life. Actually, no, you tell us better. Now over to Evan for the survey of the week. Hello, my name is Evan, and welcome to Week of Survey Wednesday. The results of this week's survey of sweet or salty was sweet and salty tied with 50% each. Next week's survey will be chocolate or caramel, or caramel, however you say it. Thanks, Evan. I can't decide if I like sweet or salty either. Next up, birthdays. birthdays. Happy birthday to Zachary R., Serena S., Truman S., James on K., Arhe S., and Drake D. Yes, happy birthday to all celebrating today, and hope you have a wonderful birthday. Now, over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements on a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. I hope everybody enjoys this beautiful day outside. All right, uh, remember, this weekend, and this information is going to be here, so you should be able to see a ticket information for Sycamore Band and Orchestra 60th, 60th Annual Pancake Day. It is this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2.30 at Sycamore High School. You get a bunch of free performances. So all the different groups from Green School here at the junior high and the high school will be performing. A new high school kitchen means shorter lines. And a pancake meal is $8 each, all right? Buy your Pancake Day tickets at this link right here, all right? And to also to see a performance shuttle. Be sure to bring your receipt to Pancake Day, print it or on your phone. The always excellent Sycamore District Fine Art Show will also be in the main gymnasium on Pancake Day. And 
Friday is the opening for the District Art Show at the high school. It'll be from 5.30 to 7.30. It'll feature live demos in the dark room, wheel throwing, and a hands-on watercolor activity. Also, there'll be tours of the high school art department and plenty of fun. So artists from all over the district, elementary schools, junior high, high school, all of their art will be on display. Come check that out. It's a pretty cool event. <laughs> International Club, you're going to meet on Friday from 3.10 to 4.10. Make sure you have a ride at 4.15. Your focus country is India. Beta Club, this is a reminder that the induction ceremony will take place today after school at 3.15 in the Media Center. Please note this is a change in location. It has been changed from the cafeteria to the Media Center. Also, please make sure you have a ride here to pick you up at 4 o'clock, all right? If you're unable to attend, please see Mrs. Derbyshire either Thursday or Friday. We the people, you're going to meet tomorrow morning in the Media Center at 7 a.m. Please make sure your group is setting up meetings outside of our Thursday meetings to work on your unit questions, research, writing, and presentations. Please bring your books and materials with you on Thursday. And don't forget to get your tickets to Footloose. All right, this performance will take place on March 9th, 10th, 11th at 7 o'clock at Sycamore High School. Visit AvesTheater.org or scan the QR code provided to buy tickets to Sycamore Junior High's spring musical, Footloose. And don't forget, they were supposed to close the bridge today. Maybe it'll be closed tomorrow. Who knows? But again, make, um, make changes to so make sure that you're not coming from east over, the inter over Interstate 71 because that bridge will be closed. You won't be able to get there. Walk a different direction, bike a different direction, drive a different direction so you don't get caught at the bridge that will be closed soon, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? That's it for me. You guys have a great day. Enjoy the day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Harris. Now it's time for the joke of the day with Mr. Jones and Caitlin. Okay, Mr. Jones. So, for News Crew, you were chosen to do the joke of the day. So, think of a joke at the top of your head to say. We're studying biology right now, so ah, I just ran into a microbiologist the other day. He was a lot bigger than I expected. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Be extraordinary, Sycamore, and follow the PBAS expectations every day. Make sure to wear your primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Go Waves! Now time for Would You Rather Wednesday, with Spectre. Hi, I'm Vector with Would You Rather Wednesday. Today we're with... Mr. Pouncey. Would you rather have snowy weather all year or summer weather all year? Definitely summer weather. I gotta show off this summer body, you know. <laughs> I'm here with... Cody Feldman. Okay, Cody, first question. Would you rather live in a beach house or would you, love, would you rather live in a tree house? A tree house. Okay, okay. Today we're with... Nigel Whitney. Okay, Nigel, first question. Would you rather be invisible or have the ability to fly? Invisible. Okay. So anyways, Thank you. That concludes Would You Rather Wednesday.